Hi Gemini, welcome to your bonus reading. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate. If a message is not for you, leave it for someone else. You can check your other signs or check back next time. Thank y'all so much for hitting the like button. I really appreciate all of your support. There will be no timestamps in this particular reading because it is a bonus. What is the important message for Gemini? What is the important message for Gemini? Messages for Gemini, please, okay? Moving towards something new. Yeah, moving on from something, Gemini. Walking away from a disappointing situation or situations. I feel like you're choosing peace overall. There was something that you had to walk away from in the past with the Eight of Cups. You may have been disappointed that you had to leave this behind, but you're going to see that it was for the better. So the big message I got for you, Gemini, is you're following your heart. You're following your intuition. Where is this leading Gemini? You could have a child with the Six of Swords, Page of Cups. There could be a child involved, okay? Some of you Geminis are wondering how, you know, this is affecting your child. That could be a thought process of yours. Not all of you have children, of course. So where's Gemini headed? Where is Gemini headed? Okay. Seven of Pentacles. So, you know, we've clarified that already. You're headed towards uncertainty. It looks like you're wanting to invest into something, but you're wondering if it's worth an investment. Whatever this new direction is, you're wanting to go. Wondering if you're going to see a return here. Justice card. That's a yes, okay? As long as you have good intention behind it and integrity, which it looks like you do, you just can't go wrong with that, Gemini. If there's somebody, Gemini, that recently wronged you, I do see some justice in that situation. Success, Gemini, the world. You're headed towards success. And your guides were just wanting to confirm that for you. Because I feel like it may be unfamiliar territory or, you know, uncharted waters, if you will. Because it does look like you may be ending a cycle in your life or a phase that you were in. And you're entering a whole new world. And this whole new world comes with uncertainty with the Seven of Pentacles. It comes with feeling a little out of balance, okay? Possibly not quite sure, you know, you don't truly know if where you're going is better than where you came from, but it is. And your guides are just wanting you to know that, Gemini. And I see a lot of growth and success in your future. What else for Gemini? What else for Gemini? Okay, you're being watched, Gemini, by the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody that you were in a relationship with in the past is watching you. Wanting to communicate with you. All right, with the World card, they could see you online. What else for Gemini? Spirit, what else for Gemini, please? The hanged man gaining enlightenment, okay? 
Six of Wands in reverse. Feeling like something's just not moving. Your guides are wanting you to change your perspective. You think something's going to be unsuccessful, but it's actually going to be successful. You may, some of you Geminis don't feel supported like you think you should be. Uh, temperance card. This is divinely orchestrated. You know, Gemini, I feel like you already know this, but your guides are wanting me to tell you. Sometimes we have to be our own cheerleaders. Sometimes we have to motivate ourselves because we're not always going to have people to cheer us on. You know, we're not always going to have people to validate what it is we're doing. And that can suck, you know, because I feel like I'm talking to a Gemini that's putting in a lot of work, but you feel like you're not receiving the credit or you feel like you're not getting as much support as you think you should. And the fact is, Gemini, with the hanged man, that way of thinking is actually kind of, in a way, manifesting the fact that, you know, you're telling the universe, I need, I need support in order to be successful, but that's not true. Okay, and, and I think you know that. Um, hopefully I didn't strike a nerve with any of you Geminis, but I just want you to know that you do have many silent supporters, but I'm also getting you don't need the support of others. And I feel like there's a lesson here behind that, that you're being divinely guided towards a particular direction, and it's the direction of your highest good. And sometimes the direction of the highest good isn't where everyone's clapping. A lot of people are clapping at the things that are not in the highest good. But you're trying to move in the highest good. Does that make sense? And so moving in the highest good or being a leader of some kind, trying to um, spread light and goodness in the world. I mean, think about the world we live in. That doesn't really get applauded. As a matter of fact, people throw eggs at that kind of energy, <laughs> you know. But your guides are wanting you to know that you're headed in the right direction, okay. Three of cups in reverse. There might be people that fall off right? There might be people that fall off. The people that fall out of your life, they're just not meant to be in your life. The people who don't support you, that's fine. And a lot of the times when you're doing good with the temperance card, spreading light and doing work, doing God's work, so to speak, or, you know, doing universal work, there are so many people stuck in their unhealthy egos and negative mindsets that are wanting particular things from you that you're just not giving them. And so that causes them to fall off. But the temperance, you know, is all about your soul's journey. And I feel like you should put that above all else. Your health, too, with the temperance card. You know, your peace of mind. What else for Gemini? I see you having a perspective shift, the Empress. It's a, you know, life-changing energy here, okay? This, the November, believe it or not, is going to have a very big impact on you for, you know, especially toward the rest of the year. I'm just getting, like, big changes developing, and I'm getting these changes are more so your spirituality and your mindset, Gemini. Very interesting energy. The Empress is all about maturing and it's all about growth. I just saw the King of Cups. I do see you balancing out emotionally because you change your perspective on your idea of success or you change your perspective on, you know, like feeling like people should be supporting what you're doing. Knight of Cups in reverse. Do not let other people dictate your path. That, you know, Knight of Cups in reverse. Do not let the lack of support of other people persuade you off path. Whether this is the people in your immediate circle or your family members or whatever it is. I don't know why they're having a hard time supporting this. Okay, I'm not quite sure. But it's almost an energy of like, when you get to where you're going, that's when the support starts pouring in. 
but when we are in the middle of our journey or when we're st first starting a journey or a new phase in our lives, it might take some time for other people to get on board with it. Okay. But what it all boils down to is don't let their lack of support change your perspective or change your direction. This is all about you being guided towards the greater good and your highest purpose in life. And, you know, it looks like you're a visionary, Gemini. And, you know, look at Picasso. Look at all of the visionaries of the world that weren't supported until, you know. And I feel like you are car carving a new direction in life. And you are setting a higher standard here, really. And you may not even realize that, Gemini. One more card, please, for Gemini. And then we're going to get you an angel number. This side, Gemini. And then we have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So you're elevating. And people are going to have to meet you at this new level. And that's really uncomfortable for people to do. But you know what? You're shining this bright light down on them. You're shining all that goodness, okay? And they can see you, but they're having a hard time elevating to your frequency. And so I feel like Spirit just wanted you to know that you're on the right path to success and that you're maturing and your soul is evolving right now. And your frequency is raising and that tends to scare other people. That tends to People who are not in that frequency or not headed towards that frequency, they will fall off. It's just the facts of the situation, facts of life, facts of spirituality. But it's telling me you're elevating and this is a success. You're successfully moving forward into some a new phase of your life. And they're going to have to meet you. Don't lower your standards. Don't, don't meet people down where they're at. Allow them to come up to you, Gemini. an angel number babe let's see angel number for my gemini's we have angel number 30 this number could be uh significant to you okay i don't know why it's not focusing there it is it says you are oh my goodness <laughs> it says gemini you are an original you are the og babe you are an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others, Gemini. Let them meet you where you're at, Gemini. Force them to elevate to get to you. And it can be a lonely place. It can be, you can lose supporters, you can lose friends, family members, but you know what the facts is, is the sun, you're, you're the sun and I'm getting chills saying this and you're shining your light. They see where you're at. Allow them to come to you. And I feel like they will. Wow. Gemini powerful message for you today. I want to read this card to you again. You are an original innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. You're making a dent in this world, Gemini. And some of you guys with the Empress, this could be through creative means, or this is something that you need to express. You need to be more creative. Okay. Especially in the month of November, uh, with the sun, the Empress, do what it is you want to do. Express yourself, Gemini. It's very important. Be imaginative. That's the affirmation on the card. Your guides are wanting you to use your imagination. All right, Gemini. If this gave you clarity, I appreciate you hitting that like button. If the message, what, if the message was not for you, leave it for someone else. You can check your other signs or check back next time. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye.